these clients of yours were purportedly in possession of at least two high caliber weapons and several rounds of ammunition. Uh, how difficult was this a process for you to be able to secure bail for them considering the fact that the prosecution may have objected? Well, yes, the prosecution had objected and objected uh, strenuously, but there is a presumption of innocence. And if bail was denied, and assuming based on the evidence that we have so far, that they are acquitted at the end of the day, how do one get compensated for time lost at the prison? So when the judge took everything into consideration, the probability of interfering with witness, the probability of absconding, there was none before the judge, and the judge was of the view that bail should be granted. They were charged for kept prohibited ammunition and kept prohibited firearm. These high-powered rifles um, were found inside a vehicle. Uh, the mere fact that ammunition and firearms are found inside a vehicle is not enough to say that anyone is responsible. Um, so to say that my clients are responsible because they were purportedly in a vehicle, as a matter of fact, we don't even know the owner of this vehicle. So suffice to say that um, it's still young and, and we plan to vigorously defend the matter when the matter comes before the court.